All right, school is back, and that also means the return of the Winnipeg High School Football League. League Commissioner Rick Hankowitz joins us now. Rick, uh, what's the excitement level at this time every year? It just grows every day. Yeah. Actually, it probably grows every hour. The kids are, uh, are ready to start going out and hitting somebody else besides each other in practice. Calls from coaches, you know, th this is coming up, that's coming up. Schedule's been out, and, and, and uh, we had a couple minor changes to the schedule, but schedule's been out. It's, it's that time of year now. Everybody's ready for it. Schools are hyped up for it. So we're, we're geared up. One of those changes I'm sure you're uh, going to be talking about here, Murdoch McKay, uh, in the last couple of days, it was uh, brought up that they can't field their team. They've had to fold. Uh, what was kind of the reasoning behind that, and what have you guys done to uh, sort of update the schedule? Well, Murdoch just kind of hit that perfect storm of injuries. Okay. They lost in... in um, probably 10 days, six starting players, and, and three of them were their starting quarterback, starting tailback, starting middle linebacker. That just kind of hurt them. They uh, were now averaging about 18 kids of practice. They told us they were running into the injury problems. We kind of looked at it all and said, you know what, see what happens when school starts. But as they looked at it and we looked at it, our Potter division is one of the best in the country. Yeah. So to put some kids out there that aren't aren't that caliber of ball, there's a safety factor involved. So, so we, we, we came to the uh, to the joint conclusion that you know, we'll fold the team for this year because that's the only thing we can do right. at that point so right. right so and there are some new teams in that Potter division as well and that's a big thing with the Winnipeg League there's always different changes every year so what are some of the changes who's going up who's going down in Potter actually only Steinbeck moved up okay. and Kelvin moved down but Steinbeck is the three-time double-a Vidrick uh, conference finalists and, and they won last year I believe so they been building slowly. Jamie Peters, the head coach out there, has done an amazing job. And now, so they've moved up. Kelvin has moved down. And, and Kelvin's one of those schools that's always an up and down thing. Over there, John Romo kind of hits hits some guys and then doesn't get some guys. But Kelvin's always going to be competitive no matter what division they're in. Right. Uh, last year, for Vincent Massey in the last couple of years, quarterback with the name of Andreas Duick uh, helped them win a provincial title at one point. Uh, he graduated last year, now starting with McMaster of the CIS. So it shows kind of the talent that can play in this league. Do you have any other guys playing this year that maybe may follow in his footsteps and, and may make an impact at the CIS level next year? Duke's a freshman, of course, and he's starting. Any guys who can make an immediate impact well, at and, the national level? Sorry, and Andre's not the only one. You have uh, Brody Williams is starting at Mac Backer for the, um, for the U of M. Shea Weeks is starting at safety for the U of M. So we, we've got guys that have walked in and started, which is... Truthfully, a major rarity at the CIS level for high school kids to come in and start. So again, I'm going to go back to just how good our league is. We have some great outstanding players. Uh, first kid I'll talk about is Rain Slater. Uh, Rain's a six foot four, 315 pound lineman at St. John's. He's already committed to UND. Uh, he, he committed to UND before uh, this season even started, and he still has schools knocking on his door. Rain is a real deal. He's been down south to a lot of the Lyman Challenge camps and walked away as the top three, you know, as the top three Lyman. So he's a real deal. At uh, Garden City, we have Kieran Cummings, who's a two-time uh, U18 player and very, very good. And, and he's a defensive tackle. Uh, Eric Pajolski, Vincent Massey, middle linebacker. Undersized, but you know what? You look at the CFL, we've had lots of undersized middle linebackers, <laughs> and this kid can play. Um, he's really a heart and soul of the Massey defense. He's got a great first step towards the ball. He's got a great read on the play. He's very intelligent, good, good football IQ. Okay, Rick Hankovich, Commissioner of the Winnipeg High School Football League.